Right to our top story we go. Vanessa Guillen's death has inspired a national movement calling for awareness and change to sexual harassment in the military. And it's brought Fort Hood's sexual assault and prevention harassment program under fire. The Army did a review of the program and was questioned by Congress last week. Six News reporter Andrew Moore spoke to Fort Hood about that program today. Andrew? Yeah, with the SHARP program being reviewed by U.S. Army Forces Command, it's no surprise people would want to know what the results of that review were. That's why it was a surprise when Fort Hood told us today Army Forces Command might not be releasing that review to the public at all. While we spoke with a SHARP victim advocate today, Fort Hood told us ahead of time they couldn't release any information about the review. Army officials told Congress last week soldiers told them junior leaders at Fort Hood in particular had a lack of experience to respond to sexual harassment or assault incidents. But SHARP victim advocate Deitra Woods told us today soldiers don't have to rely on junior leadership for this. They can go to one of the many SHARP victim advocate offices on post instead. Those advocates can talk to soldiers about what kind of report they would like to make after being victimized, and the advocates aren't required to tell the chain of command anything if the soldier just needs to talk. If that soldier says, you know what, I just wanted to talk to you, I don't want to report nothing, I'd be like, okay, it was good to see you, and they can walk out the door and say that chain of command came in right behind them and said, what were they in here for? And I'd be like, what are you talking about? I don't even know. And that's how sacred the conversation is between me and thee. The SHARP program has faced criticism that any penalty enforcement for harassment or assault typically includes the chain of command, and we found out today that does seem to be true. Army leadership did talk about making improvements to the program, but Woods couldn't tell us about any instructions that have come down from leadership so far. Andrew Moore, 6 News. Hey, thank you, Andrew. We'll post a full review of our Q&A session with Fort Hood's SHARP program at KCENTV.com.